Chinese Indigo Youth Council Worldwide has described the recent statement by the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Uche Secondos, that the 2023 presidential ticket is open to all as an affront against Indigo. The youth wing of the Apex Igbo organization said that the statement showed that PDP has no regards for Igbo. Ohanez, the youth council, pointed out that the Igbo had been loyal to the PDP for the past 21 years. The Ohanez, the youth council, however, said the PDP National Working Committee, led by Secondus should be commended for responding to the seven days ultimatum given to the PDP to respond to the alleged plot to deny Igbo's the party's presidential ticket come 2023. In a statement signed by Mazi Okechuku Iziguzoro, President General, and Mazi Oku Nabuike, Secretary General, the group said it is unimaginable mistake and mischievous decision to see Igbo unworthy to fly the PDP presidential ticket in 2023. This development will surely attract severe sanctions against the PDP in the 2023 election as the Ohaneze Youth Council will mobilize necessary actionable measures that will make the party lose their strongholds in the southeast in the future elections. It's cleverly designed and clearly seen to all that 2023 Igbo presidency project had been murdered in PDP. It's obvious that the party doesn't need Igbo votes in the future. It's sheer betrayal of trust. And Igbos are not fools. We expect that in the near future, there will be inevitable mass exodus of Igbos from PDP to any political party that will guarantee the political aspirations and realizations of Igbo presidency projects. The Ohaneze Youth Council called on Igbos to accept their fate in PDP and take action through aggressive sanctions against any Igbo that accepts VP slot in exchange for 2023 Igbo presidency. If APC guarantees Igbo, project, Igbo presidency projects, there will be mass exodus and defection to the party, Ohaneze Youth Council says the Ohanese Indigo Youth reaction a statement is a reaction to what the PDP presidential uh, PDP uh, chairman national chairman Uche Secondus said on Saturday the PDP presidential ticket is open to all he says the 2023 presidential ticket of the People's Democratic Party will be open to all party members, National Chairman Uche Secondus said on Saturday. He further said, everyone is qualified, young, old, governors and non-governors is qualified and will have the opportunity to contest and we have the space for everyone, Secondus said in Bauchi. He further said his handling of the crisis in the party in the Southwest is not sitting well with governors elected on the platform of the party. Its board of trustees and some other prominent groups and individuals. Secondus position appears to contradict the calculations in some quarters that the party would automatically zone the, the ticket to the South as President Muhammad Buhari would have completed two terms of eight years for the North. Secondus, who said the PDP remained committed to zoning, said there would be no discrimination in picking the party's presidential flag 
bearer in 2023. He said, zoning is entrenched in our constitution. And at the right time, you reporters will hear from us. However, the party is very democratic. There is no room for discrimination. Secondus was accompanied to Bauchi by Governor Aminu Waziri Tambuwal of Sokoto State, the former Senate President David Mack, the former Governor of Gombe State, Hassan Ibrahim Dakwambu, and the Deputy National Chairman of the party, North, Senator Nasif Suleiman Gamawa. The PDP delega delegation paid a solidarity visit to Governor Muhammad Bala, asked about the recent defection of former House of Representatives Speaker Yakubu Dogara and his supporters from the PDP to the APC. Following a disagreement with Bala, Secondus said the political space was wide enough for everyone to move as he wishes. There is no rift. The political space is so wide in Nigeria and anyone that is not comfortable will move. And we have seen such moves before. They will move and come back. That is the assurance I want to give to you, he said. After speaking, Governor Tambuwal asked President Muhammad Buhari to deploy information communication technology in the fight against banditry, kidnapping, insurgency, and other crimes ravaging parts of the country. He said, the situation is sad because bandits are carrying out atrocities and killing innocent people. The situation is improving in Sokoto. He said the situation is sad because bandits are carrying out atrocities and killing innocent people. The situation is improving in Sokoto, Zamfara, and KB states. But the situation is getting worse in Castina. I call on the president to take decisive steps to recruit more competent, qualified security personnel. The federal government should ensure that weapons are provided for the military to fight the BH guys and give them their rights. The president must ensure that packages meant for soldiers, welfare, that packages meant for soldiers reach them in terms of their, their rations, earnings, welfare, and well-being. The federal government should deploy more ICT equipment to men at the forefront to forestall kidnappings and other crimes. Secondus, stated, Secondus statement is close to a recent statement by Governor Yesom Wiki of River State, who said the PDP would be guided in picking its presidential candidate by what it thinks would make it win. As an opposition party, we look at all variables, Wiki said. He added that what will make us win the election should come first. That is what is important to us. The ruling party can say that zoning, can say that, which is zoning, but for the opposition party, there are variables, as it were. Well, since the Ohaneze Youth, Ohaneze Ndibo Youth Council has said that they want Igbo presidency, it remains to be seen if that will be achieved. It has cautioned the opposition party, that is the PDP, against such actions, saying that the Igbo president in 2023 is not negotiable. Well, it remains to be seen if that will be the case. Well, what are your thoughts, guys, concerning these particular news stories as it were? Drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Well, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.